Wow, would you look at that? What is that, a nice, beautiful day in Portland? We have not had many of these yet this year, but it looks like spring is finally sprung and it skipped straight past it and it's 90 degrees. So that means that I've been getting ready for springtime, summertime activities. And I was on Craigslist the other day and saw something that I felt like I personally couldn't live without. And I would say it was a pretty good decision. <laughs> I'm really freaking excited for this summer because I got this. This is a 1981 Yamaha uh, XS400 Special. This is one of the five new Yamaha Specials. The most beautiful motorcycles we've ever built with low riding stepped seat and handlebars that reach for you instead of the other way around. I got it from a guy who thought it was broken. He brought it to a mechanic. He had the mechanic rewire the entire thing with a modern wiring harness. Front to back, all new wiring, clean as can be. Apparently custom exhaust, said the paperwork he gave me. Um, all new lighting, everything. Brand new tires, the custom seat to be bobber-ish. Clear coated patina gas tank, let's get the old kickstart nonetheless he had this posted 750 bucks so in my opinion it was either very broken or stolen so i went to go look at it i checked it out kicked it over felt there was compression and everything uh there was no gas in the tank for one the dude told me that the only times he wrote it he had to come have his neighbor start it for him he owned it for like five years only wrote it four times so i picked it up brought it home felt like definitely I could figure this thing out. I threw a new battery in it and he didn't know somehow. He said he would be exhausted. Guess what I just bought? What? I got us a pole. Oh, fuck yeah. Damn, so we're gonna have strippers and motorcycles. Better bring your money. <laughs> so he thought it was kickstart only. And I threw a new battery in it. The dude literally said he couldn't get it started because he would just sit there kicking it and wouldn't be able to actually get it started. Throw the key in there. Oh, and it's wired to have a freaking battery tender. Pretty sick. Anyway, key in. Starts right up. Pretty freaking excited. All I had to get was a $50 battery and I bought this mirror because it didn't have mirrors. But I'm about to go on a first ride ever to go get a lock for it because I've had a motorcycle stolen before and it's not very fun. So I'm gonna go get a lock to lock it up. It's an old 80s motorcycle. I don't think it has a steering lock and you could just wheel this thing right into a pickup. So I guess let's go check this freaking thing out. So I ended up just pretty much riding around all day um, around east of Portland to go pick up a phone mount from Cycle Master, I think the store was called. I got a phone mount and then I got this cool little brake lock. That way it doesn't get stolen like my last motorcycle did. So pretty happy with it. Um, I rode around very good. I rode around nice. The video you can see, I rode from East Portland all the way to Central, I guess, I don't know. Went and got coffee. And I was getting coffee, it was funny. There's, 
I parked it outside the coffee store and there's like a bunch of people standing by and taking pictures of it because they thought it was cool or maybe they had one similar or something, I don't know. All right, so yesterday was pretty much just me riding this thing around, making sure it was all good. But there was one instance coming home where it did shut off um, at idle. So one thing I want to do, and it smelled like gas really bad. So one thing I want to do is I want to pull out the spark plugs and check to see if it's running rich or lean. So I'm going to take out the plugs, read the plugs. So yeah, this is just Raven's mechanic corner, I guess. All right. So if you're following along at home, what you're going to need is a 3 16 spark plug puller. You can find one of those in one of these handy dandy mechanic sets from Harbor Freight. This thing, it saves my ass so many times. You just take off the spark plug wire, slide your socket right on there, pull it out, take a look at it. Hmm. So I'm gonna pull the other side first. See what that side looks like. All right, I got the second one out. That is as rich as it gets. So I, the, I think the other one, I think it's just this cylinder. So maybe the carburetors aren't balanced, but the, the thing is with this spark plug too, I don't know if it matters too much, but it was very loose. It was practically hand tight. Um, I didn't put these in. There's a dog. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go get a new spark plug. This one's looking pretty rough, honestly. Way worse than the other ones. So I went, bought a couple new spark plugs. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just throw this in, just ride it around a bit before I adjust the carburetor at all. With it being only finger tight, it, it could have potentially been not igniting all of the fuel. So I'm gonna hope that's the case and that I don't have to like retune one of the carburetors or that the float is broken in the other carburetor or something along those lines. Um, Cause the other one seems to be working fine. So I'm gonna just screw this one in fully. I'm gonna just ride it around all day and see if it starts bogging out halfway through the day or anything like that. And I uh, guess I'll update along the way. Super nice out, so I'm gonna go on a ride. Let's see if it's still running rich. doing a little better but it's still like stopping it almost seems like it wants to die so honestly I think I might just ride it out for the rest of the summer and then or if like we get a rainy week then I'll take the carburetors off make sure to have a carburetor rebuild kit but for now I'm gonna ride over the St. John's Bridge to that side of Portland down that way cross back over should be a nice little freaking excursion for this new bike I guess we should probably get going though. Figured I'd stop down here and check out the water. It's uh, real nasty. I would not swim. like it's at 89 miles I think it was at like 
45 or 50 this morning that I started riding so got a little carried away got a little <laughs> a little ahead of myself but I mean I think that's the verdict right is if if it rode that far I've only had it die twice I think at idle this thing's air cooled so it doesn't have a radiator or anything stop and go traffic 90 degrees out is when it died going up a super steep hill so I mean, it seems like for just commuter riding, this thing is prime. It seems happiest when I'm like going 50, 60 miles an hour. And that's the thing too, is it goes highway speeds. The only thing I'm gonna reach out, if anyone knows, this exhaust side is right exhaust side. I've been riding it all day. I can touch it. Woo, that one definitely would burn me. It's blowing, it's, it's hot. Don't get me wrong, it's not, it's not like it's not firing that cylinder is firing but the exhaust is cold and it's maybe the compression is low on that side i don't really know i'm not a bike mechanic this is my first ever real motorcycle in the scooter so if any of my viewers know what the deal with that is because i felt it i was at a stoplight and i reached back and i felt one side's hot blowing out one side's still blowing but it's cold so maybe it's an air fuel mixture if anyone knows let me know what i can do to fix that the one thing i did do is adjust the the idle air screw on this side um and it was helping it, it idle but yeah this has been an exciting first couple days of owning a motorcycle it's one of those things where i didn't think i needed one until i got it now i'm like damn how did i live this long without a freaking road bike and i honestly had no idea how many compliments this thing would get that is surprised me i'm sort of an introverted person so i don't like people uh looking at me or noticing me and i've had so many people stop me and be like oh sick bike man that thing's dope what year is that i had a dude be like i like your helmet and your bike man so i mean it feels good it's cool knowing i had something cool didn't know other people like this style motorcycle it's like an old 80s yeah i think that's it for this video thanks for hanging out with me while i rode my new motorcycle around portland uh hopefully i'm gonna go on some trips maybe set this thing up for camping i want to like build some mounts for my skateboard on the side figure out some stuff i can do with it but yeah let me know some destinations i should ride it to also just uh oregon or southern washington even for that matter let me know but my whole takeaway on this entire thing is this is by far the most fun I've had for under a thousand dollars because 750 for the bike, 50 for the battery, so that's 800. Uh, it took I think ten dollars to fill the tank, something like that. Yeah, you could still see the gas in there, like that it's not running low on gas yet. So, this thing is just an eco machine, it gets really good gas mileage, it's it goes perfectly on the highway it's not too fast it's not it doesn't feel dangerously fast or anything like that so it's nice and safe and slow and it just looks good feels good most fun you could have for under a thousand dollars 750 for the bike 50 for the for the battery but i mean that doesn't take into account motorcycle license everything like that well i mean even then even with the motorcycle license 200 bucks still in it thousand bucks most fun you could have for a thousand bucks right here pick up a motorcycle come ride with me Hit me up. It goes to hit. Oh, and he gets it. What's up? With the nice. With the nice. With the nice.